Sebus service. This is the Sebus service section. To enter the service section menu, scroll to the service icon and click on the left rotary dial. In the maintenance recorder, you can see when your next service for engine oil and hydraulic oil are based on the amount of hours remaining. The engine oil should be changed every 500 hours and hydraulic oil changed every 1500 hours. You can reset these service intervals by scrolling over to the reset menu, selecting either recorder and then select the yes option. You can also go into Cebus and view all of the onboard diagnostics. The onboard diagnostics gives you vehicle information, information about the software versions, Cebus parameters, engine diagnostics, various alarm lists, and removable media or data that is onboard in the Cebus and data cards. To enter into this menu, scroll over to the icon and click the rotary dial. In this submenu, you can see basic information, such as your current battery voltage, air brake system, the number of active errors, the odometer, and the working hours. You can also see the certain engine parameters, such as fuel consumption, cooling water temperature, charge air temperature, engine load, charge air pressure, and fuel supply pressure. You can also go into the transmission menu and look at all of the current transmission ratios, oil levels and oil pressures, brake pressure, and the brake pressure switch state. In the hydraulics menu, you can see the hydraulic level and the condition of the filters for the steering, hydraulics, and return line filter. Through the axle menu, you can view the axle oil pressure and oil temperature for both the front swinging axle and the rear rigid axle. Finally, in the clause sequence manager menu, you view the sequence display. To view the current software versions uploaded to your tractor, enter the software menu. Once in this menu, Cebus queries or probes each controller individually and pulls up the latest software and hardware numbers as well as serial numbers. In the Cebus parameters screen, you can view the software versions for the available languages and other various parameters. To review any engine error codes, select the engine diagnostics menu. If there are any active error codes, they will show up in Cebus on this screen. The next menu will show you an active alarm list. Cebus will keep the active alarm lists in memory until you cache them or clear them out. You can also set the maximum number of alarms that will stay in memory. An alarm filter can be set based on whether they are an error, warning, or informational point. Lastly, you can see the data storage and what storage media there is and what memory is available. On the telematics side, you can turn telematics on or off just by choosing either option. The telematics screen will tell you the percentage utilization and the number of active jobs reporting across the data network. Cebus also tells you what mode you're in. It also gives you additional information about the SIM card, the server or network provider, and what your signal quality is for cell phone strength. The last submenu is for calibration. In this screen, you can control calibration of ground speed and calibration of front and rear linkage position without the need for special service tools.